Hello and welcome to another video from Double O Rail. Uh, tonight we have Triang Hornby's Stanier Princess Royal. This is uh, Princess Elizabeth uh, 6201 in LMS uh, Crimson. Uh, it's equipped with uh, two coaches here. We have a um, composite first third coach and we have a composite brake as well. Um, so this particular model was produced in 1971. Uh, it's just shy of 50 years old. Its catalog number is R258NS, which means not only is it fitted with a synchro smoke generator, it is also fitted with realistic chuffing sounds in the tender. Um, so there's the tender moves, and there's a mechanism in it uh, that creates kind of a chuffing uh, steam noise. And it's synchronized to the speed of the uh, train because it's basically tied into the axle on the tender. Um, now, the reason this video is a little bit later than I had planned today because um, it is number two on our 100 days of uh, celebrating Hornby. Um, I tried to get the synchro smoke generator to work and I went to quite a lot of effort to try to get it to work. Now I did manage to get it to work, but unfortunately um, I didn't have the right kind of fuse wire to repair the heating element. Um, basically it's got a heating element um, inside of the um, kind of reservoir. And what happens is that heating element is basically a fuse um, fuse wire it gets really hot and um, it needs to be about 33 ohms if I remember correctly and I didn't have the right kind of um, fuse wire uh, I only had 30 gauge and it looks like I'm gonna need like 38 or 40 gauge to get the right ampage um, so I did try to repair the damaged fuse wire that was in it and uh, which is quite a challenge because uh, it's really like a, it's with a human hair um, I, I did get it to work but it, it blew a couple of times so um, so unfortunately, the synchro smoke really is invisible in the video. Um, but however, what I will do is I've managed to order um, some new uh, fuse wire online. And so I will, when that gets in, I will finish the repair and then we'll do a separate running session featuring this loco with the synchro smoke. And I actually have two uh, synchro smoke trying locos. So I'll try to maybe uh, run both of those in the same video. All right, so today uh, what we're gonna do is uh, show you this running around the layout. Uh, you've already seen it run a little bit before I uh, broke in to speak here. And then what we're gonna do is you'll have a little bit more of the blue Pullman like I promised yesterday. And uh, then um, in a couple hours, you'll see the next video because obviously this one's a bit later than I planned. All right, so I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, Triang uh, running sessions here. I will be switching over to running some more modern stuff um, as we go through the 100 days because I don't have um, 100 triangle locos to, to run here, uh, but we still have a few more so and I'll start to intermix them with some of the more modern locos All right, so let me get this thing started and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the rest of the video If you got any comments or there's a specific triangle loco you'd like to see uh, Please feel free to put it in the comments below
So one of the things I wanted to point out about this uh, Tri-Hand controller and these older locomotives is that um, because of the way my track is set up and in general the track wasn't always perfect anyway, I've got some curves that doesn't quite negotiate properly, uh, kind of slows down on the curves and when it goes over the point work it's a little, little iffy whether it'll make it all the way over if at slow speed. Um, so you essentially have to sort of sit here and control it, it's more like a living and breathing uh, steam locomotive like the real thing and you sort of lose some of that when you're uh, doing DCC right if I was doing DCC right now I would need to be making these little minor changes to keep the thing running smoothly um, but it provides a bit of a challenge and kind of keeps it uh, entertaining I mean I sat here for 25 minutes and didn't realize I was sitting here for 25 minutes controlling a train like this so um, I just thought I'd share that, and uh, it's one of the reasons why I still have a set of Series 3 track and Super 4 track, and I picked up a couple of Triangle locos and these old controllers, because uh, it's always good to uh, kind of go back and experience uh, how it used to be. Alright, so let's uh, keep going through the session here and hope you guys are enjoying it. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed um, the running session there. And before you go though, uh, make sure you check out the latest uh, Hornby Magazine video. Uh, I believe it's um, HM160. Um, they actually feature um, the latest version of uh, this logo in um, Bior, uh, I think it's Bior Crimson as well, um, or Bior Brewery maybe, I can't remember now. It's been up a very long time. Um, but basically, um, it, it, it's like the, the latest and greatest version of DCC has, um, you know, they fitted the smoke generator. It's got um, the latest uh, sound chip in it. It's got the DCC Concepts light, uh, lamp iron, lamps on the front. Uh, so it's really slick and it's definitely well worth checking out. And it's also interesting to compare that uh, to this loco here. And you can see how far uh, mall rallies have come in the uh, past 49 to 50 years. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time.